Hey guys, it's me. Um, today I want to talk about a bad first date experience I had. Um, or, rather, I'm probably going to be soliciting the guys for proper first date etiquette. I don't know if etiquette is going to be the word on this situation. So, just tell y'all about the date. Met this guy. He was absolutely gorgeous. I mean, he was light-skinned with the curly hair. But that was when light-skinned dudes were in. He was all swole, tall, just sexy for no reason, right? He came, picked me up. Badass Benz. I don't really know what kind because I don't know too much about cars. But it was shiny and then the leather feel real nice on my seat. And everything looked all digital on the dash. And I was like, ooh, this is nice. This is real nice. So he took me out. We went out. And it was just a boring date. That's the best way I can describe it. It's just boring. Ain't nothing go down. Conversation was whack. And to me, conversation is very, very important. Conversation was just completely whack, completely. And I think he sensed how bad the date was. Well, on the way home from the date, um, we're driving. He's kind of talking and talking. And at one point, he, um, I had on a dress. And, like, you know, ladies, when you sit down, your dress kind of pulls up just a little bit. So it was probably mid-thigh at that point. He's like, he reaches there like a red light and grabs a blanket from the back seat and throws it on top of my legs. He's like, yeah, you're doing too much right now. Go ahead and cover that up. So I was just like, okay, this is awkward. Okay, but I didn't think anything of it, or the fact that he had a blanket in his back seat. Hmm. It should have clued me off. So anyway, we're driving, so at one point he like, pulls like into like this park area. And I'm just like, oh, my house is this, that way. So um, he's just like, no, I just wanted us to talk a little more. And I'm thinking, talk? Negro, this date is horrible. You have no conversation. Why do you want to talk? So we're sitting there and he's kind of talking to me. He's just like, yeah, I think you're real cute. Blah, 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 blah. Mwah, 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 mwah. I don't remember what he was talking about, right? And then out of nowhere, he like is messing with his buckle, but he's still talking. And then he unbuttons his pants and it was like in slow motion. It was like, no. And he pulls out his penis. Just pulls it out. He just pop his penis. And I'm like, oh. Uh, because I'm trying to maintain normal conversation speed. But, yeah. So, his penis is out there. And then he like looks at me and goes, so what you going to do? Uh, I, yeah. I, I mean, like, I don't understand why his penis came out. I mean, like, was it hot? Did he get uncomfortable in his pants? Was his penis like in there? Like I'ma start give us free. Like what what possessed like what triggered his hand and brain to go to his pants and pull out his penis? I I don't think I said anything because I wasn't saying anything sexy at all. Like, hey, can your penis come out and play? I mean like I don't know, like did the penis want to become part of it? Was like me, him and the penis? I don't understand why he pulled his penis out. But it was mad uncomfortable because he was like, so what are you going to do now? And I was just like, oh, nothing. Because there's nothing, ladies, there's nothing you can do at that point when a dude pulls his penis out, right? Because he pulls it out, and either way it's going to end in a bad situation. Either you're going to suck it or sit on it, and he's going to think you're a hoe and never call you again. Or you're going to look at it like it's a retarded stick, I don't know a better word, just retarded, and not do anything, and then he's going to feel like a complete jerk, and never call you again, so at this point, there's nothing we can do, you're never going to call me again, no matter what I do with your penis, so I just opted to stare at it, hoping that it would feel uncomfortable and jump back in his pants, but um, it didn't, and it just left for an awkward situation, I was just like, um, yeah, I don't think I'm penis out of pants ready yet. So, my question to you all is, number one, ladies, has this ever happened to you? And what the hell do you do? And if any of the guys watching this, and you've done this before, or even thought about doing this, why? I look forward to your feedback and comments. Thank you once again. This is Ayana Dukey signing out.